In this video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Revoice Pro 5 when using Pro Tools. If you're looking for more feature-specific, in-depth videos, these can be found on our website. Let's get started. All right, so to start off with, let's have a quick listen to the track that we're going to be working with. Okay, so all in all, really great performance, but we want to get these vocals absolutely perfect. So I'm going to head over to the audio suite menu. We will use the S key to scroll down to Synchro Arts and let's launch the Revoice Pro Link plugin. We have the ability to start Revoice Pro directly from this plugin. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to create a new session. So let's click the new tab over here. And the first thing I'm going to do is let's change these track names to Lead Vox. And we'll use the tab key to create another track called Lead Vox Double. And let's just extend the track header out a little bit. Now back over to Pro Tools, let's start sending over this audio. I'm going to select this main clip over here. And then we have a couple different modes that we can use. We've got capture only, capture and match timing, pitch or level, and capture and create doubles. In this case, I wanna do everything manually. So let's just choose the capture option for now. And now we just need to make sure that we're sending it to the proper track in Revoice Pro. So let's capture this audio and we'll scroll down to this clip. We'll change the track to the lead Vox double and we will capture this. So now let's switch over to Revoice Pro. First thing I'm going to do is let's auto size our track heights and let's zoom out a little bit. And what we need to do is essentially get these vocals sounding as good as possible. So I think a really good first step would be if we were to tune. I'm going to solo out this track and let's also make this full screen and I'm gonna right click and let's choose adjust pitch, timing and level. So now we have the ability to adjust the pitch and the timing of this track. So let's focus on an area over here. First of all, let's take a look at one of these pitch blocks. We have the ability to hover our mouse cursor over the top and we can essentially flatten out the modulation of the pitch trace or we can increase the modulation of the pitch trace if we want to. In addition, we have these squares that are in the corners in the middle. So this one over here, we have the ability to either dial up the correction amount to 0% or 100% and this is of course based on the sung performance. We also have a drift control over here which we can adjust. And then we have the ability to adjust a level as needed or if needed. I'm going to select this, we'll right click and at any given point of time, we can reset the selected notes by choosing this option. Let's reset all changes of this back to its default position. Now I'm going to do a command A and what I'm gonna do is pull up the center notes tool and we can use this to just dial these up. You can see as I'm pushing this up to 100%, this is just pushing the sung performance to the nearest semitone. Now this is something that we can do by just kind of having like a bird's eye view across everything. And let's just push it up to something that looks about right. Maybe we'll just back off a little bit from 100, maybe somewhere around here. So now that this is done, let's have a quick listen to the results. I'm gonna switch back to my main selector tool. We'll double click and press play. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Sounds good. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Guess I need somebody, but. Okay, this area over here, let's fix this right over here. I'm gonna right click and let's choose the cut tool and I'm just gonna put a little separation over here. Now we'll go back to the main selector tool and we can double click to bring this to 100%. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, so now that we have the tuning done for this main vocal, we can essentially use the tuning and the timing and we can impart it onto the other vocal. And it doesn't matter that it's in a different octave with a different singer. So with this audio selected, let's choose the B key. This brings up the new process panel. We want to choose the selected audio. And in terms of presets, I'm going to go with this one right over here. Slightly loose timing and pitch match only unison. Now let's make sure that we add the proper tracks. We have our lead vox over here. We'll add this, this is our main guide. And this track over here, we will add this as a dub and we will now create a new process. So this is now going to render a brand new output based on all the tuning changes that we made to this track and if we had made timing changes as well. And we can listen to the two of these together now. 
Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body. And just as a reminder of where we started. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. So big difference. Guess I need somebody, body like you. And now at this point, as soon as we're happy with our results, we're ready to send this back into Pro Tools. So I'm going to right click and let's select this audio. And now if we go back into Pro Tools, I'm gonna go back to my main track and let's activate a brand new playlist. And now with this area selected in the track, I'm going to render this. So now we have rendered in our new lead vocal in place of the other one on a new playlist. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. And let's do the same thing on this track. Again, we're gonna go with a new playlist. And now we will hop over to Revoice Pro and I'm gonna right click and let's select the audio over here. And now we're going to be sending the new rendered output from Revoice Pro into Pro Tools. So we'll go ahead and we'll render this. So now we have both of these tracks. And as a reminder of what these sounded like before, let's go to the first playlist, which has the original male lead vocal. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body. And now with the rendered fixed result. Guess I need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. Need somebody, body like you. You again. Okay, perfect. Now the last thing that I think this track could benefit from would be, I would like to have this very last line of the female lead vocal. I would like to have this doubled. So what I'm going to do now is something a little bit different. We're going to go to the audio suite menu. Again, we're gonna scroll down to Synchro Arts. This time we're going to go with the Quick Doubler plugin, and this will allow us to create a double and bring it back into Pro Tools really quickly. I'm just going to create a new stereo track. So we'll go with one new stereo track and let's call this vocal double, and we will create this track. Now, if I scroll back to this one, all we have to do here is choose our preset, which I love using Stereo Vocal Mild. Let's capture the main track, and then if we move over to the track that we wanna bring the doubler back on, let's render this double out. Now let's take a listen to the three of these together. You, again. Perfect. So now if we play from the very beginning over here, and let's take everything out of solo. Let's have a listen to the results after. So that's using Revoice Pro 5 with Pro Tools. More in-depth tutorials on these features and more can be found on our website. Thanks for watching.